Hey, it's Clay Trader for BullWarriorStocks.com. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol CEYY. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Before I get started, I'd like to note that please check my disclaimer. If you follow my videos, you know I've done this one uh, a few times, and it's been a while since the last time I've done it. Uh, but before we get into the shorter term, which you know not too much has been going on, uh, I want to first focus on the overall chart. And when I say overall, I'm talking about multiple months uh, because there is a bullish pattern that has taken shape, and it does a good job of kind of summarizing what's been going on with the overall chart. Uh, once again, overall being the keyword. I'm not talking about short-term movement, just talking about uh, you know literally the past few months. So to start that out, you can see down here with this volume when you know when the price really shot up. This is what in the technical world form we refer to as uh, the pull portion of the pattern and then since then the bulls have been struggling to get up above this trend line here which otherwise is known as the resistance trend line however at the same time you can see that the bears have also not been able to make as much progress every time they push down so they push down and the bulls step in and stop them there push down, stop them there, push down, stop them there. So that's just kind of a fancy way of saying that the price has been putting in higher lows and higher lows is the name of the game. That's what you wanna see because think about it from the level two perspective, those people over on the bid side, in order for them to get shares, if they want shares, they have to keep increasing those bids. So as long as those bids are increasing on level two, then that is what we want because that's what's gonna cause these uptrend trend lines to occur. So. Bidders on level two being forced to keep bidding higher. Uh, you know, that's what we want to see. So overall, we have what we could call a, a bull flag uh, or just a bull, you know, symmetrical triangle, whatever you want to call it. Point being the psychology, which is, uh, you know, the bulls are struggling to get above a point up here. However, at the same time, uh, the bears are definitely losing their footing because every time the price goes down, the bulls keep stepping in at a higher and higher price. So let's zoom in a little bit now and talk about more of the short-term action. Like I said, uh, it's been pretty quiet in the short term, uh, but from a resistance standpoint, we have the trend line here, which we've already discussed, and that's gonna be right up there around you know, the 14 cent area, give or take, but that's the key level of resistance right now on the chart. Support-wise, key level being this trend line here, but more of an ideal level is gonna be this purple line here, which is the 50-day simple moving average right now that's valued at 0.116. So 11 and a half cents is gonna be uh, what I like to call the ideal level of support, meaning ideally, this is the level that you wanna see continue to hold going forward. But if it doesn't, you know, no need to panic or anything because you still do have the tread line support right here, uh, which is what we've already talked about. Now, in terms of breakouts to the upside, meaning if we can get a technical chart pattern where the price pushes through this resistance tread line, where are some of the next levels of resistance? And once again, I wanna zoom in. And we're going to zoom in even more so I can really illustrate this point. But you can see that looking back here at the history of the chart, there are no other price levels up above uh, the, the point of this pattern here. So with that in mind, let's zoom back in and then I'm going to draw the resistance out here. And for this resistance, just going to draw that right across the top. And this big move here peaked out at uh, 15 cents before the profit taker stepped in. What I'm going to do is this is level of resistance. However, I'm going to make it the color of the sky because with a breakout of that, the chart enters into blue sky breakout territory. Meaning again, looking back at the previous data, there's nothing else out there. So uh, you kind of just have to hop into your, your gut instinct trading and use that as you know, there's not other any other data points uh, to form resistance or anything like that. So blue sky breakout at 15 cents, but of course, step one is gonna be needing a, a technical chart uh, breakout of this current pattern that we talked about at the start of this video. So all in all, a uh, very, nice looking overall chart sure it's been quiet in the short term but uh you know it's already shown that i can make big moves like it did here so if we get another uh you know pattern breakout uh you know we'll have to just kind of sit back and see where that one takes us if there are any other questions please let me know if not again this was c e y y thanks for listening